talk to you different, but never extra. She like the fact I get aggressive, but I'm not possessive. Bad, but she modest. Nah, staying honest. Black Bonnie Parker. Black Bonnie Rock. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I think so let's get started. Oh, and if y'all see me looking down, it's because I wrote down some notes so I don't forget what I'm trying to say. Papers. Anything you sign your name on as an adult, you need to keep a copy of. So once you have your lease, once you sign your lease, you need to keep a copy of it. I went and bought this thing from Target. I know it looks like, girl, what the hell? Your lease will specifically tell you if you don't want to live here anymore at the end of your original leasing agreement, you need to give us a 60 day or a 30 day notice. Um, Tip number two is plan it out. You want to plan out your move just so that you can have a little, I hate to say this word, but a little more control of the situation. Um, I noticed that when I don't plan out what I need to spend, what I need to buy, where I'm going with this, what I'm doing, am I getting a storage unit, am I getting a moving truck, where is this furniture going to go? If I don't have a plan, it seems like I'm just a chicken running around with his head cut off. Try to overestimate the amount of boxes that you'll need so that way you're not running back and forth to the store because that's what I just had to do. I thought, I was like, girl, I ain't even gonna have this many boxes because I ain't even keeping all this stuff. But, surprise, I had to go back to Walmart a couple of times, buy some more boxes, which is way some more gas. Just be really realistic with yourself and overestimate on the supplies that you need. Um, my third step is to figure out who is helping you move. A lot of people, just like I did this last time, I basically moved myself out of a three-bedroom apartment all alone you know what hold up let me not lie my mom did come and help me move a lot of like a lot of the heavy stuff out of um from upstairs to downstairs i did all the cleaning i had a couple of homies come over um to vacuum and sweep like vacuum and take a couple of things downstairs literally basically with this tip just know you know get your crew together it, whether it be your family whether it be a group of your friends whether it be your teammates your team players and you know what i mean a couple of strong men make sure you secure that make sure you put the deposit down make sure you know what size truck you're getting make sure you know the mileage the distance from the place you're at now to the place you're going to know all of that plan it all out it is only it is only going to make it easier on yourself and if people cancel on you like like i think that was my situation like i thought i had people that were gonna come help me but then in the end they was just like Girl, I didn't even know you was moving. And I was like, bitch, don't fuck, girl. Ooh, child. But you know how that be sometimes. Anywho. Um, yeah, that was tip number three. Number four is to purge your belongings. Um, go through your stuff. Sis, this is a moment where I need y'all to get real with me. And be real with yourself. I had clothes that were just too short too tight ain't fitting and i know i didn't want to be one of those moms who was pushing a stroller and pulling her dress down at the same time and to me that's just not a good look if that's what you went to that's what you went to for the most part i had some pieces that i really liked i barely wore and were just too small i finessed them jones let me tell you how i finessed them by ironing all of them folding them nicely and neatly, and I took them to Play-Doh's closet. And you want to know how much money I got for a bunch of clothes that I, nine times out of ten, would still be just sitting in my closet or I would have thrown away in a big garbage bag? I got $75 for my stuff. Um, try and take advantage of stuff like that because it'll only benefit you. Um, so let's move on to tip number five. Tip number five is all about cleaning. You want to leave that unit that you're moving out of um in better or the same condition that you got it in and again the receipt for everything that you buy keep with you if you get your carpets clean because that's what's specified in your lease keep that because they're going to want to see proof of that just make sure that you are holding up your end of the bargain when it comes to your leasing agreement and the specifications that need to be met and the requirements that need to be met when you are moving out um don't go out and buy a bunch of cleaning supplies. Use what you have. Make that shit work. Don't forget the outside back porch. If you have a back porch, clean that off. Sweep it off too. Um, replace anything that was broken while you were living there. I 
was living in an apartment complex that had really cheap blinds. You know how black people, we ain't gonna open the whole window when we hear something. We just gonna go peek at that little piece and that be like, literally you touch it and it broke off. And I was like, really? I had to replace that or, you know, they would have took it out my security deposit. So up front, I just didn't want no smoke. So I went and got a $20 money order from Walmart and I left it there. And I was like, these blinds is not more than $20. So don't play with me. Also, oh, oh my God, this is one of the most important. You are going to need, if you're like me, I wasn't moving into a new apartment. So I gave them one of my parents' address as a forwarding address. Important because if you have any money that needs to be sent back to your sus, they need to know where to send it to unless you're never going to get your check. If y'all want to know the story about how one of my leasing companies tried my life with my security deposit, leave comments down below and I will tell you the story, sis, because they tried my life. <laughs> Oh, that was so extra. But anywho, make sure you turn in all keys that were made. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all the advice I have for you guys for moving out. Make sure that you keep track of everything you're spending and all the important paperwork and everything that you need. Thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope this video helped someone out. Please, please, please subscribe if you have not already. Go ahead and hit the bell that will alert you whenever I do post new videos. And thank you guys so much for your support. Love you guys. Peace. Because loyalty is everything and everything before. The world never loved